shirt and leave that. You were kicked out. You want to watch your mouth, because I ain't the rest of these dance mamas. I'm not a doctor like Holly Boo. I'm from the hood. Shut up. What's that shut up? How old are you? And I'm disengaging, like Dr. Holly said. <gasps> yeah. for a new studio to compete. Where are you from? St. Louis. St. Louis? And I think Nakaya has something to offer your team. OK, well, we're having a little workshop at the studio. Mm -hmm. So why don't you come? You can come to take a little tour of the studio, and she can take class, and I can observe her doing class. So do you have room on your competition team? I always have room. There's never enough students. It's been an outstanding show, and now I want to sit back and relax and enjoy my evening. When all of a sudden, I hear this agitating, grating voice. We, you know, groom you into becoming part of our competition team. I'm putting the bill for this, and she was not invited. All I know is she has no business being anywhere near my customers. Technically, her dancers were amazing. Like, Great do you dancers. feel that, like, the steps are somewhat limited? Like, not a whole lot of choreography going on? You know what? I, I hate to tell you. You sound like you would make a dandy apple. Yes, you would. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. How you doing? I was approached by Kaya and her daughter, Nakaya, after our dance concert. I had no idea who the woman was, but it turns out She's from St. Louis, from a very reputable teacher, a colleague of mine. So I'm going to check the kid out. That's the least I can do. You're Kaya. Kaya, this is Nikaya. Nikaya, hi. What are the girls looking at? There's someone here. She's inviting someone in. Do you want to get your shoes and your street clothes off? And I'm going to check her out a little bit. If you want to go up and sit with the moms, you're more than welcome to. Alrighty. I'm always looking to make my competition team stronger. Maybe this kid, Nikaya, and her mom are just what my team needs before nationals. There's certainly nothing like a surprise or two to wake everybody up. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. I'm fine. Good. I'm Alyssa. What's your name? I'm Kaya. Kaya. Pretty name. Hi, Alyssa? I'm Holly. Nice Hi, to Holly. meet you. Kelly. Kelly. Hello. So where are you from? I'm from St. Louis. Oh, oh OK. You moved here? Yeah. Oh, okay. OK. I don't know why Abby constantly insists on bringing new people in. It's bad enough when she brings people in from the studio that we know and have danced with. Now she's bringing a stranger in. I just think it's crazy. So what did you think of our dance concert? I mean, they're really, really talented. I mean, as far as technique goes, but as far as entertaining, I don't think it was really entertaining. It didn't have a lot of personality. Really? You know, I didn't think so. So the new mom comes upstairs, and she sits herself down, and she seems a little opinionated to say the least. I think our kids are fabulous on stage. I mean, I, I think to, they are too. I, I wouldn't I, have brought her here if I didn't think you had fabulous dancers. I just think that they could use a little more personality, a little more divitude, and she has that. Divitude is just when you're born with it, when you just know you have it. No amount of technique or any type of training gives you that. I didn't think any of Abby's dancers had that. Divitude? Yeah, or not that's divas. what I call it. <laughs> what does it, your docket say? Black Pets. I love that name. It's really pretty. You guys keep working. Get that down pat. Come on over here to the bar. Let me see fifth position. Tondu. And let me see a rond des I asked Nakaya to execute a few ballet steps. I want to see if she has a foundation, if she knows her terminology. And can you spell rond des You have to know the names of everything. We're really into terminology here. It's good that girls want to try out for our team, but I don't really want a new team member right now because I'm perfectly fine with all my friends. Do you do any acrobatics or gymnastics? No. None? Now I'm beginning to wonder about this girl. Is she for real? Is she an advanced student? Or is she just a recreation student that goes once a week whose mother's trying to get her onto a competition team? Second, second. She's going to audition. Or... I think she should just start choreographing a routine and just put her in it, because her testing to see how flexible she is is not really. There's a lot of other kids who want to dance on this team, so I don't know why she would just get to walk in and be on it when there's other kids who've had to go through auditions. Other kids don't have a resume like her. So I'm going to call your mom down. Okie doke. Oh, Abby wants me to come down. Good luck. Good luck! I ain't scared of her. God, she's a loose can't. You never know what's coming well, out of her mouth. That's true. Are you no matter how serious? nice, how mean. Your yeah. recital was boring, 
and every, all these kids need help to perform. She's not gonna work on this team, girlfriend. She knows zero terminology. My kids are the whole package, not just little bits and pieces. When my kids leave here, they have a career, a livelihood, forever. I don't think that these spelling tests and all this other stupid dance terminology is relevant. What I personally want Abby to do is stick my daughter's damn dance CD in her and watch her dance. You're the professional. You've been doing this all this time. You create stars, so why would I question what you're saying? Yay! Hallelujah! We have a winner! Don't just discount Yay! her all the way. Can you come back tomorrow? Yes. So, come back, bring her in tomorrow. I'll have more time. I just heard her say. I heard her say tomorrow. come back tomorrow, but why? You don't get to just come and be on the team. Our girls are two weeks from nationals. Why Abby would ever consider adding a new girl to the team right now is beyond me. That does not make any kind of sense whatsoever. Just when I thought it couldn't get any crazier, it got crazier. So she wanted to know if you could spell Ronnie Jones, if you could spell dance terminology. What the hell does that have to do with dancing? She goes, do Ronnie Jean. Now, can you spell Ronnie Jean? I go, no. That is She knows that. She doesn't want to give you a chance, because I meant what I said. Her dancers have no personality. What do you have on now? Title jacket. So what difference does it make? We're going to play her game. We're going to go home tonight. We're going to learn this terminology. She's going to learn how to spell all these stupid ass dance terms. And we're going to come back tomorrow and play the game Abby wants to play. Go, two, three, four, drop. So where are you going for nationals? We don't know. Well, she's a I mean, how do you have a life outside of dance if you have no idea what you're doing in four days? This is our life. This is our life. You developed your time here. This is your life. Do any of you work? Mm, I used to work. I owned a business. I had to sell it. What do you have, nannies at home then? I mean, no. I was just really good husbands. Exactly. Yeah. So you're a single mom? Yes, I am. With four kids? Yep. Wow. Yeah, well, my relationship my ended because of dance. Oh, really? Oh, lovely. Your husband didn't support dance? I didn't have a husband and I had a wife. like you could hear a pin drop in the room, like they had never, ever heard of anybody being a lesbian before. So what would you like us to call you? Because we've been calling you Patsy. Really? Yes. Well, you call yourself Patsy. The Black Patsy. I know. We were calling so you, you Black Patsy. Call I want to know what that means. You know who Patsy Ramsey is? Yeah. Crazy stage mom. That's you. All dance moms have an inner Patsy. Are you really proud of that, that that's your nickname? Because, like, I certainly wouldn't want to be compared to Patsy Ramsey. <laughs> Hi. Hello. I want to get you to fill this paperwork out. OK. OK. So I was thinking, well, maybe she could jump in and take the picture spot. But now Paige came back from the doctor today and said, hey, I'm allowed to dance. <sighs> but she's already been there. She's learned all of the routine. I mean, you're taking a chance on Paige because she just got over an injury. So it's kind of iffy. No, I'm taking a chance on Paige because she's been here since she's three years old. Paige has a boot on her foot. Even once the boot comes off her foot, she won't be able to dance up to par with the rest of the team because she's not really picking up the choreography. Nakaya already knows it. There's no reason that she shouldn't replace her just for this number. Give her a chance. Let her compete with you guys. Let her on the team. Usually when you walk into the studio, you have to be here for a year before you even audition. I it. How what would it take for me to show you how bad I want her on this team and how bad she wants to be on the team? If I don't put her in this number, and she's just a swing, are you still going to go? Yes, we will. Kaya is standing right in front of me, telling me she'll do whatever it takes to get her daughter on this competition team. Well, hey, we're going to California. I might just invite the kid to go. All right, you better know it. You might get put on the spot. Okay. All right, good night. OK, thank you. Spread apart. Let's go. This piece is very important to the Abby Lee Dance Company. I'm excited about it. I love it. I think this could be a winner. You move out of there for right now. All right, let's go. Get on the line. Nikaya's been there every minute. So I want to see what the group looks like. Nikaya, stand in Paige's spot. That's it. All right, let me see. Um, you out, you in. Go. I'm watching rehearsal, and it's like Abby's playing games. Paige will do the dance one time, and then Nakaya does it the next time. Please tell me who is on the team here. 
That's her turning foot that's hurt. Oh. It's her left foot. Look, it doesn't point like the right. right foot. All right, you're both boring. 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 My foot's really bothering me in rehearsal, so I just hope Miss Abby lets me take it easy. Hey, Tina. How's your foot? I'm so sorry. Is your foot okay? What's the matter? It just kind of hurts when I go, like, I step on it and I do the kick. You need to say, Miss Abby, it hurts when I step on it and fan kick. Can I just mark that until I'm on stage? She will say yes. This is your first day of not having a cast on your foot. Paige has waited for four weeks to get this boot off of her foot. And Abby keeps pulling her to put someone else in the dance. All right, ladies, I want you all to know that Paige just came to me and said, can she mark the fan kick? Because it hurts her supporting foot. I'm just letting Paige sit out during rehearsal because her foot is still bothering her. I'm not replacing her. But if that foot still hurts come competition time, I will. The show must go on. And it's going to happen no matter who's out there dancing. If she's injured, she shouldn't be on stage. She should save it till she's ready. One part of me wants to go down there and just knock somebody out. So I excuse myself. I'm done. You ugly I can't. Once again, Kelly overreacts and throws a hissy fit. Well, you know what, Kelly? The reason I keep bringing new moms and new kids into the studio is because of behavior like yours. I'm sick of it. Kaya, if you weren't here and Kaya wasn't here, this whole issue would not exist. And I think where it started was that Abby was that? choosing between Nakaya and Paige. Her mom was sitting there saying she don't think she's ready to go out there and dance. She, Paige is still hurt. That's you. She does not need to be there. a doctor. Are you a medical doctor? What the hell is the problem if one more kid is added? You got the wrong mama this time, because I don't back down to nobody. You don't scare me. Well, maybe you found the wrong mama. I ain't found the wrong None of y'all don't move me. The, the point is, is that Paige is either going to dance or Nene's going to dance. OK, she said she I'm not going to give y'all this. If Abby says she's going to do this number, we're going to be in LA doing a number. And I don't have to answer to any of y'all. I don't care. Kelly's storming out of the studio and the mom's upstairs screaming at each other. I decided something needed to be done. So I called them all downstairs to straighten this mess out. I'm sorry, I think it's ridiculous. No, I think it's ridiculous I, too. I have a kid that I don't even know. It's from another studio that moved here. I have a kid that's hurt. I'm liable, ladies. This is a business. I want Nakaya to take out Broke Back Brooke and Peg Leg Paige just to shut Kelly up because she talks so much. I just want to prove to her that her daughters are not all that she thinks they are. She's upset because she said nobody's dancing, the routine looks stupid, and her daughter is always in the back burner. No. But I don't like them blaming and saying because Nakaya walked in between Paige and a student that isn't even your student. She's not That's choosing her anything, but it's up, to, it's up to Abby's discretion, not yours. All of y'all are full of crap, so I don't care. Oh, yeah. Come on, stop yeah. not doing You can have one another. Because you're Doing you are. We don't know what's going on with the number. This is chaos. So, considering the behavior of these mothers, you told me that you were ready to go to California. I think you should go. I am not making you a promise that your daughter is in this. So don't get there and start acting like that. All right. Take care. I asked Nakaya's mother to go to California with us. She's all excited. But if she opens her mouth again, look out. Everybody dressed. I haven't even said who's in the dance and who isn't in the dance. I haven't even spaced everybody yet. The only reason I think that Abby won't just replace Paige and put Nakai in this number is because Abby's just scared that Nakai is going to go right in there and blow her dancers out of the water. She claims it takes years and years and years to get on the level with her elite dancers. Well, Nakai got it in 24 hours. Have you asked her, like, recently what she's thinking? And I ask her, you say, I don't want my feelings to be hurt at the very last minute. If you don't think I should be in this number right now, then you can just tell me that. If I would have traveled all the way to LA and she didn't let me dance, that really would make me feel really sad. This has been an honor getting this far, but I don't really know if I'm going to be doing a routine or. I'm deciding right now. Right this second, I'm looking at it. Let's go. Our group number is coming up next. Who's going to do it? Nakaya or Paige? I have yet to make the decision. So I'm going to run the number one more time. And whoever's not keeping up is out. That's my final decision. I came here to win. Make the head move. Here we are in the dressing room. Everybody is dressed and ready to go on stage. And she's still playing mind games. Abby just 
tell us what you're doing. Is Paige dancing in the dance or not? Because in five minutes, they're gonna be on stage and you have my daughter so confused. She doesn't know whether she's coming or going. What, what is she doing with this pigeon toe feet? I don't think you're there. They've done the number over and over in the dressing room and nobody's impressing me very much. Do I take a chance on Paige, who is still recovering? Or do I take a chance on the new girl, Nakaya, who's yet to prove herself? Who's going to dance in the group number? It's a tough choice. We're all doing the dance. Let's go. You didn't come 3,000 miles to sit on your butt. Everybody out there, let's go. If letting Nakaya be in the dance is what allowed Paige to be in the dance, then so be it, because she is a member of this team and deserved it. Listen to me. I am putting you in this dance because you're telling me you're ready. Do not go out there and make a mistake. Understood? Yes. Yes. I'm really worried about Paige. Can you physically do it? I'm not so sure. I need to see it full out, Paige. When we walk out of here, game faces. Let's go. I really want to show Miss Abby that I deserve to be on this team. Please welcome Abby Lee Dance Company. Before to you, I see the kite flying. Every time that sky comes back into my mind, the colors shift, the blue gets bluer, and the horizon widens. When the words start speaking for the group dance, because there is no music, the girls start crawling around on the floor and like punching themselves in the face. And I thought, well, OK, at least you're being the best that you can be. As my kite rose higher into that impossible blue, I thought about how we never flew kites together. Woo! Group number went well. Paige and Nakaya both did an okay job. Who was better? I don't know. Neither one of them really pulled my eye. But today, that was a good thing. Drum roll, please, for your top scoring junior Oscar Small Group. Your first place winner is in the genre of contemporary. And from Abby Lee Dance Company, act number 70, I see the kite flying. It's all said and done. The group routine, and we all know the group comes first, was the overall high scoring winners in the entire competition. The Abby Lee Dance Company is going to leave California victorious. And who choreographed this routine? Miss Abby Lee. Let's give a big round of applause for our top three junior Oscar small groups. Kaya, you and your mom are being pretty quiet. You had a lot to say on the microphone. What do you mean? This goes to the rest of you. You're going to let the new girl walk in and get the microphone and get to speak? Don't let the new kid come in and push you out of the way. You did the same thing with Paige today. And you're yeah, threatening to replace her with somebody else. Why do y'all keep saying replace? Why we we're not coming to replace nobody. She just wants to be part of you. the team. But Thank when you. you refer to me or my child, it puts me in the conversation. What did you say, Abby? I'm sorry. Somebody was me. talking. Kaya was talking. I don't want to even use your name. That's why I keep saying her. I got a name I want to call you, too, and not your own. But I'm trying to be respectful. You just jump down on me like I'm trying to invade this team and do something. And it's no different from what all of you are doing. As a sister, I would think you would respect that, because it ain't a lot of chances for black women out here now. I would think that you would have my back. Do not. Do not, do not take my ethnicity time. and make me a poster no. child for whatever. I choose to speak with I, Holly Hatcher Frazier, Dr. Holly, so everyone in this room has something to say. I don't know. I don't know how you work with these parents. You called every one of us liars. Haters? The haters. Yeah, you are some, you some haters. That's a name. I call it like I see it. It's the truth. Y'all are liars. You some liars, especially you. Oh, yeah, OK. You are phony as hell. So are you. I'm not. You, you know what? what I see, I'm you, not you're phony fake. at all. Who I am is exactly who I come across as. Yeah, a bitch. That's what you are, and I know you own it. You don't know a thing, bitch. I'll be that bitch. Don't let the I door hit it. your on the way out, then. You want to watch your mouth, because I ain't the rest of these dance mamas. I'm not a doctor like Holly Boo. I'm from the hood. Believe that. Abby, are you going to let this happen? Bitter. I can't. I don't use foul You're language. You're right. We're bitter. I don't know how you work with these parents. jazz solos to a song called Get Back Up, and it's about 
someone who's struggling and can't pay bills, just kind of being down and out and trying to figure out a way to come out of that. What I want to see in your solo is angst, you know, sad, struggle. This is hard. Don't dance like some rich kid from Pittsburgh. Try it again. Go. I feel like I have something to prove to Abby and those moms. There it is. So they want to see me fail just to shut me up. I am so excited about meeting up with them again. So I got a lot I want to say to them. You got to point those feet, right? We can't give them any reason to question your technique. Let's go from the turn. You know, Abby's big about those legs and feet, even though she can't see her own. <laughs> I think Abby thinks that people are intimidated or kind of jealous of her, but really, she's just trash with a title. I have no respect for her, so I want to just give her a piece of my mind. She's not better than me. Well, hello. Hello. Well, I knew it was St. Louis. I knew you'd be here. I had to expect that I would be here. This is my hometown. I'm so glad to see the bougie moms here in St. Louis in my hood now. We got Dr. Holly in the hood now. Hi, Dr. Holly. Hi, how are you? Ugh, it's just too early in the day for all this. Don't be so quick to run. We'll be here all day. Dr. Holly, don't let me forget that, because she earned that title. She's so educated. Those letters don't mean a damn thing if you ain't doing nothing with it. Come on, girls. Bring your leg, girls. Good luck. We don't need luck. You might. I'm not at all threatened by Abby Lee and her dance company. I just feel like they need to see some real competition there on my turf now so they get to see how we do things in the Midwest of St. Louis. Coming on stage now is Nakaya with Get Back Up. on stage, I mean, if I was judging, I would say that Nakaya has regressed. It wasn't the best. I think some of the girls could have made better choices, but the technique looked good. We'll see what the judges think. Did you notice that Nia was a whole, like, beat ahead of everybody? Nia? Yeah. No. She was. Never noticed. I think really you were together. wrong about that. I don't, I don't think, think so. I don't think so. She danced like she has two left legs. I knew she was a lefty. I'm not engaging. Well, why'd you say something to begin with? I'm disengaging. Mm. For her to sit in the audience and critique somebody else's child is just wrong. That's very rude. So there can be two rude people in here today. There's enough rudeness for everybody. If you're going to critique something, you would have known that she was just a whole beat ahead of everybody. You didn't let Patsy run you out of here, did you? If she thinks that she ran me out of that auditorium, she better think again. I gracefully exited. It's easy for her to dish it out and go off on everybody, but when somebody tell her something, she don't want to hear it. That's a punk move right there. And I see Kendall, because that was my first time really watching her, and she can't dance either. Kendall, no. <laughs> All of a sudden, Black Patsy moves on from Nia to Kendall and starts trash talking her. Did you hear that? She just said Kendall can't dance. Who said that? It's obvious that Black Patsy is just jealous of Kendall because she replaced Nakaya on Abby's team. That little girl cannot dance. Your daughter cannot dance. I thought Nia was the one that had to work her way up. Nia dancing in circles around your kid. Well, you know what's funny? We said the same thing about your little girl. I'm not going to sit back and let this woman badmouth my child and say all this that isn't true. I walked in your recital, got right on stage, and danced with your elite dance. You were kicked out because she wasn't good enough. No, bitch, I left. You no. ran back up in that studio, no. and I see why they want you back, because your kid sucks. Does that make you feel good? Bitch, you don't want to go there with me. I will show your ass hood. Who you don't want to go there with me. You don't want to go there with me. I just thought it was hysterical to see Jill trying to get, like, all hood rat. Shut your big mouth, and I'll tell you who started. 
did it. Shut the blank up. And Black Patsy's all like, y'all. And I'm like, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop, stop. stop. Yeah, yeah, shut up, bitch, I'm grown. Who are you talking to? Stop. You don't want this. Stop. I, I apologize on behalf of the Ivy Lee Dance Company. You a punk, Abby. Apologize for that. Where's my daughter? We are not a part of that. And I am very, very sorry that this happened and the children had to hear that. I really hope to never, ever, ever come across that woman again. First of all, we're going to start awards just in a second, but I want to address something that happened here uh, just briefly. Um, for, you, for those of you that were out in the hallway during the incident, I want to sincerely apologize for the expression dance and myself. These ladies are a bunch of rich bitches. That's what they are. That type of behavior is not tolerated. That person was removed from the competition. Thank you very much. If I do come back, these moms better watch out. This is Kathy from Candy Apple Stand Center. Hi. I've met Black Patsy before, and she's a lovely lady to me. I know that her daughter, Nakaya, is a good dancer. Well, listen, I am actually down a dancer. And I was wondering if your daughter was interested in, in coming over to Candy Apples to try and do a competition this week for me. Oh, I want to see what they can add to my team. I think that not only will Nakaya step up and show me that she's a strong dancer, but I also think that Black Patsy is going to come to bat for me. Two, three, four, and five. Six. Four. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Problems oh my God. are just coming. Oh, my God. She's awful. I didn't think that Kathy would have selected Black Patsy and Nakaya to be part of her team. Black Patsy has a reputation of being very vocal. She's a fighter. You need to. Get her in. We're That's working right. on choreography. Get back here and understudy her. Get back here and understudy her, please. Learn everything that she's doing. She's going to learn the choreography now, too? So we're going to have to go back, teach her. Oh, hello. Welcome. Hello. Hi. So what brings you over here to Canton? Yeah, what's we were called? Now that Mary's feeling better, why do we have to bring in this other little dancer? I don't know what to think of that. This is contestant number 76 in our 10 to 12 age group. Please welcome to the stage, Wide Eye. I sat and watched Kathy's team dance today, and I really don't feel like they're a threat to us. You can pick your team, but we're still better than you. Drum roll for your high score going to... What a... Top overall group. Take that back to Pittsburgh and hand it over to Abby Lee. Hey, why are they following us? Maybe you didn't dance? Okay. Why do you worry about what Vivi's doing? I'm asking a question. I know, but you don't need to ask her why she's not dancing. Why? I think that Jill Kelly and Holly are just a bunch of damn stalkers. Why would you be at a competition if your kids are not performing? I noticed you had four girls, but only three dance. Well, there were four girls sitting on stage. Would you let her talk instead of running your mouth? Where are your kids? They're on vacation. Well, then, you know what? Put your mouth on vacation. <laughs> shut up. Who said shut up? How old are you? You said my daughter's not. 
Remember? Get in my face, because you will need security in a minute. Arms up and, oh, that's beautiful, Nakaya. I don't think that Abby took the time to find out what Nakaya's qualities were. And I, on the other hand, have become very fond of Nakaya and very fond of Kaya, her mom. And Black Patsy proved herself to me a thousand times over when she stood up to Jill and took her about five feet back with finger to nose. This trio is parody on those moms trying to be spies. So we've got a spy musical theater jazz routine going to the stage. Watch your face. Why am I seeing your face? Why am I seeing your face? I don't want to see your face until you put the newspaper down. Go back. Do you think that your bark is worse than your bite? I don't, I don't bite. You bark, though. I bark. Bigger lean, sharper, sharper. Bop, bop, leg. Did you change that part where they were all going the same way? Yeah, I did. Because Brooke couldn't get it. Because Brooke couldn't get it? Brooke can get anything. What are you talking about? I'm talking about her not getting her choreography. That's what I'm talking really? about. Really? What couldn't she do? Anthony? Whatever I took out, and it's done, so quiet. Oh, really? Sure. Anthony. I am tired of fighting with Anthony. He needs to remember who signs his checks. Honestly, I think that Anthony likes to perform when you get in here. So just know that I no. have the kid's best yeah, interest I'm a at heart. Performer. Hey, how about you take a seat I don't need to and take enjoy a seat. the show? I don't Take you seat. take a seat and um, enjoy the real listen, show. Listen, I miss Candy Apples, and you are not. It so sure can be ABD. It can be real dance. You better best, best believe. Yeah, it it okay, can happen. Okay, okay. And I will have a squash oh, of a team. OK, I hear you. half ya. of this team will be coming with I me. I hear you. You know what? Can you all listen to me while you're doing whatever? No surprises here. The kids are going up against Kendall, Chloe, and Nia. That's their trio. So I need you guys to really go out there and sell this, OK? There's scores to be settled when it comes to talents. And Anthony's mom is here. My mom is here. So we're excited, and right? Absolutely. But you know what? There's some people here that don't know our chant. Oh, yes? Yeah. Everybody put your hands Everybody. in. <laughs> Who are we? Apple Applecore, Applecore, Applecore! I think it's our turn for a win. And nothing drives Abby off the brink than when Candy Apples Dance Center beats ALDC. So let's rock it, Candy Apples. Do good, guys. Do good. All right, girls, listen up. Everybody listen to me. I want as little interaction with that other team as possible. Please help me welcome to the stage Spies Like Them, the 43B. is a mess. I'm not sure if the whole thing was improv My trio looks good. It's unbeatable. Please help me welcome to the stage, Castaways, number 43A. <laughs> A nice, solid performance. I was impressed. Nia, you're on the right path now. Now 9 to 11, duo trio power, top 10. Seventh place goes to Spies Like Them, number 43B. This is definitely not one of my prouder moments. I wish that the trio would have placed higher. Fifth place champion is Castaways, number 43A. The trio might not have won the entire competition, but they beat Candy Apple, so that's all right in my book. I was named Joe. No one's home. Hi, guys.
guys. Um, so moms, congratulations. Yeah. You guys had an amazing day. I do want to introduce somebody to you guys. This is Anthony's mom. Yes, I am. So I don't know if you guys realized that she was sitting behind you and hearing all kinds of comments that were being made about her son. He's a gentleman. He's oh. a gentleman well, first. Well, he wasn't a gentleman to us. But I'm going to speak for my son. Now we know why he is the way he is. And I can get in your face, too. Why bother? Because I'm talking about my son. OK. Oh, 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 oh. That's why. You know it. This is not yeah. what we signed up for. Stop! This is about dance. Are you people insane? What the hell is going on in this room? Like, it's dance. It's just a dance competition. Settle down, women. Settle down. Hold on, hold on. Look what someone just sent me. <laughs> Look who it is. We're back. Oh my God, Black Patsy is on her team. How long was she on the team for? She was on our team like a week or two as a guest, and then she went with Cami Apples for several seasons. Didn't you guys get in like a fist fight? Listen, I never swung at anybody. She stuck her big <laughs> fat finger, disgusting finger, up my nose. Here we go again. We're gonna run into Black Patsy. I'm pretty sure that she's gonna come guns a blazing because that's all she does. It's what she knows. She's a hoodlum. Why do you think Kathy's disappeared for so long? I think Kathy senses an opportunity. We haven't been winning most recently. And so she's coming like, I have a team team that can win. So ladies, we've got a lot to do today. We have one day before we get on a plane to San Diego. We need to give Abby shutters, horrors. I mean, she's already living a nightmare. I'm just going in for a couple jabs. She's ready to kick Abby's ass. OK, well, there's <laughs> plenty of that there to kick. Mox, I need to know that you are going to be behind me no matter what happens. Don't worry, I got your back. What can I say about Black Patsy? She's not afraid of anybody or anything, and she's not afraid to say anything. She can put the finger to the nose any day. We are going to start with the group dance, ladies. Let's go. This dance is inspired by the 70s, 80s horror films, Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, and there's a lot riding on this. It's our first time at competition in two years, so we have to win. Nice, nice intensity there, girls. I want Abby to be afraid every time she sees us. If we lose, the last laugh is for her. Oh, my gosh. If you guys dance like that, they are going to really know right then and there that we are back. Tell me about where you guys come from. I am from Missouri with um, somebody you guys all know and probably don't love so much, um, Black Patsy. So. Whatever, that's Jill's best friend. Will she be jealous that you're here? You know, her I daughter mean, was, she was, they were on here. This team, and, and they wanted to do as she would have done anything to stay. Say, so it looks like Cameron took your daughter's spot. Sorry. <laughs> wait, wait, but, but Abby, 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 how desperate are you that you brought this mom onto your team? I mean, as big as you are on technique, you went and brought in a kid that does not take ballet and all she does is acro tricks. Yeah. Your kid can't even straighten her net. knees Don't and connect a passe. Know. Does she know what a passe is? Yeah, Cut it out. I really want somebody to go and do a ballet class and put Nakaya up next to Cameron. Let's go. Let's do it. She's in ballet every day. Cameron does not even own a pair of point shoes. All she does is acro. Oh, serious? Her point shoes are in her dance bag right Don't now. Don't own a pair of point shoes. Right on over there. Camille and Black Patsy can go at it all day. I need to lay low as best I can. Thank you, but could you stop with the commentary? We don't care what you have to say. 
That was horrible partnering. That that is you so disgusting you to have a like human being she like that. Great. And you need Thank to shut you. Your big who, who should have to put up with that? You don't want to hear what you have to say. Don't I know don't me. Care. You don't know me. You you better ask her about those fingers, honey. Disgusting. You allow that in here. Wow. I can't believe a grown woman acts like a bitch in front of all those kids to my kid. She's a piece of is what she is. <laughs> I mean, let's call it, let's call it like call we see it. it. So Abby, is that what you let your moms do? Let them get up and walk out on a dance? That's very, very rude. Abby, come on, we're gonna go in, our in the dressing room. You better just get used to that smack talk because you're gonna have a lot of that in jail. All right, next to the stage is entry 83. I'm back, I'm your nightmare. There's no question that the candy apples routine was really strong. So the pressure is on our girls. This is a teen advanced lyrical. We go on. are back. I think it showed that we don't need those minis. The sky is the limit with this group. Third place overall. Entry number 83, I'm back, I'm your nightmare. First place overall. Entry number 84, we go on. Yes, we do. What studio are you with? Great job, ladies. First place overall. It was a great day. It has been a while since we've had a first place overall win. And I think this just might be the beginning of our winning streak maybe even with this new version of the league competition team. Just maybe. That was awesome. You know what? Those kids were so dang good. So proud of these girls. They overcame that big mouth woman behind me talking about them. Who are you talking about? Because I'm coming to you like a woman. I'm being respectful. I'm not Get saying nothing to you. I'm trying to talk to you, and you I can't talk like a woman. No. Kathy, tame her. Put a leash on that. Do not touch me, because I'm going to end up in the same spot Abby is at if you put your hands on me. Don't touch me. No, no, you touch Jill first, FYI. Shut up. You just got here. Who are you? It doesn't matter. What are you saying? Can somebody translate what she's saying? What are you saying? Not anything real. Hold on. Let me keep something real. Wait a minute. Nope, nope. Why won't you let anybody else know? I don't need your mouth. If you don't need it, why are you so offended by anything I say? I'm not a dancer. Why are you so fixated on my kid? I'm not fixated on Then shut your mouth about her. Answer it was not about your Oh my God, you're so ignorant. Shut up, you. This isn't about you. You know what, but it is. But it 
Quiet! Say what you have to say. It's not these ladies who have their leader going to jail. It's you guys. So who's the big loser now? See you next week. Funny thing is, is I don't think Kendall would have gotten a Maddie solo if Kathy wasn't here. That's the irony of the whole to thing. I agree with you. So that old twit has done something good for me. <laughs> Not only does Kendall have to worry about measuring up to Maddie in Abby's eyes, she has stiff competition as well. We saw earlier on social media that Black Patsy's daughter, Nakaya, has a solo this week. It's all or nothing for Kendall. If she doesn't beat Nakaya, it's the end of the road for her. Nakaya, you're doing a solo that is based on a character. How are you gonna bring to the table that you are Harriet Tubman? What did Harriet Tubman distinctly do that is going to make you connect with her? I think she had a lot of courage. She was very brave. She had a lot of care as well in what she did, and she actually cared about the people who were trapped and didn't really know that they were slaves. So I really have to care about everything that I do on that stage, and I have to have enough courage to go on that stage and do exactly what Harriet Tubman did. That's awesome, Nakaya. Okay? Nakaya is going to portray Harriet Tubman, and I think that she's really going to bring to this piece as being that that slave that freed so many slaves. I'm just I get chills when I think about choreographing this for her. Now there's a voiceover that is not done yet, so I'm going to be I'm going to do my best to say the quote. It's going to be her voice. Yes. So we I know it's very very touching in the end. So much better. Than so much better, baby, so much better than me. Slow. Take that up slow. And if I could have convinced more slaves that they were slaves, I could have freed thousands. What do you think? Did we do her justice? Did we do her justice? People still think that I'm just this angry, confrontational, stereotypical black woman. They don't see, they don't see me for being a protective mom. They don't see that. Jill can clown and do the stuff that she does, and people look at it like, oh, she's just defending Kendall, but when I do it, I'm crazy and I'm confrontational and I'm angry and it's not me. I'm just a mom and I'm protective of my daughter. Then she works so hard and nobody sees that. I just want people to see that. Crying because of everything that's going on right now in this country, it just kind of hits here. It's just so many reasons. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Judges, we're now going solo character ages 13 and 14. The screen, number 702. Abby has given Kendall a great opportunity. Kendall needs to get out there and feel the character. I know what Kendall has in her. I need her to prove it to Abby. to be like, you played it safe. Mm -hmm. No, you did not. You did not play it safe. <laughs> so we love you. You need to just go out there and show them how amazing you are. They are not going to expect it. Yes. Not going to expect mm -hmm. this at all. Judges, next up is going to be number 902, Harriet, number 902. 
get under Jill's skin because I tell the truth and nobody else will say that. I say what everybody else wants to say about Kendall. She's just the weakest dancer on the team. I mean, no shade intended. Kaya's just a stronger dancer. She knows what she's capable of. So much better, baby. So much better, baby. Better than before. I've been working on the real book. If I could have convinced more slaves that they were slaves, I could have freed thousands more. I just don't even have the words to describe how I feel about Nakaya Solo this week. I thought she did an amazing job. Actually, what I would like to do is go find out what the big bag of wind is up to. And Black Patsy, you're going with me. I want to go in to see Abby because I want her to be rattled and I want to get under her skin. And I'm going to bring Black Patsy because I know that she is going to have my back. Do good, guys. All right, line up. The best way to shut that witch up is for you to go out there and be far superior dancers than she's ever had. I didn't come here today to get beat from some nobody. Hi, honey. I don't know what this woman's on, but honey, she does not belong in this dressing room with these children. She is completely, utterly out of line. I want you to go that way. Go that way. This is a game to you. This is not a game to these children. Why don't you be quiet? Like you, let her talk to you. Why are you in this room? Why are you in this room? Get out of here. You're not welcome here. Leave us alone. Get out. You need to move me. You don't move me. Get out, classy. Get out, classy. This is a dressing room. Stop yelling in my face. Oh my gosh, really? It's like deja vu. Get out of my face. Do not walk up on me, Abby. Get you your partner. finger you out of my up? face. Don't get out of my room. Go. Get, Mama, do not walk up on me. Please leave. Please leave. Do not please leave. You get out. We don't have time for these shenanigans and the silliness. Kathy wants a win. She's hungry for a win. We can't let that happen. This is my dressing room. Get the hell out. Here at New York Dance Experience, there isn't a top five, not even a top three, only a first overall. If Kendall doesn't beat Nakaya, I don't know how Abby is ever gonna have faith in her. Our top teen soloist, the incredible. The scream, come on up, Kendall! I cannot tell you how happy I am. I beat Nakai. I can tell that my mom is static about it because she's probably just gonna go shove this in Black Patsy's face, and that's kind of what she deserves after talking about me. Congratulations! Yay! You didn't win because you got on the stage and you hit the step. You won because you, you're famous. I hit the step. We all hit the step. We deserve. We deserve that award. Not them. And that pisses me off. Oh, 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 we just beat them for the second week in a row. Two weeks in a row. Go home. Milk a cow. Oh, no, 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 no. Kathy, come on. You did the costumes. You picked the theme and you put your own damn kid out there looking like that. Shame on you. You could have featured her and made her look amazing, and you don't have the common sense to do it. Talk about common no. sense. I'm not in the predicament you are. I've got more common sense than you'll ever have. Abby still has a lot on her plate, and I don't mean with this team. And there's Kathy to remind her of it every single step of the way. Awful. I think you're a joke. You're a petite chubbat. You are not going to cut it in Hollywood. This is it, honey. There is this no is way. Why do you fly across the country to lose? What kid have you had in the last four years on Broadway? Are they still doing their dance team, College Crop? Just had a girl make Disney. I don't oh. have to. 
brother. What, 30 years in business? You finally have a kid at a theme park. Golly gee. Good for you. You know what, Abby? We'll see you at Nationals. I think that's around the time that you have to go for your hearing in Pittsburgh. We'll see you there. People make mistakes. My biggest mistake I've ever made was letting you walk into my studio. Tuck and close that ass in. As you can see over here, we've got a red brick wall. Now, this is a very controversial subject of building a wall. Not for anybody to feel offended whatsoever because our wall is against Abby. And I want to make sure that she understands that every morning when she wakes up and peers outside, that she's gonna see a red brick wall when she goes to jail. That's gonna be her landscape. I mean, if you're gonna do something that's representative of her going to jail, why not use bars or something? That's so cliche. Bars, stripes, ball and chain. No, 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 no. That wall is my wall against Abby. She has done and said a lot of nasty things to CADC along the way. So we want to build the wall against Abby. We want to keep her away from us. And if she doesn't get the message, then she needs a brick wall to fall on her. We have somebody who's not going to be with us next week at Nationals. Because Black Patsy is going to be celebrating her wedding, I would like to give her an early wedding gift. So I'd like to see Nakaya do a solo again. Can you handle that for me? Very good. Moms, you can head on out. I'd like to get busy with rehearsal. OK, so I want to read this to you guys. Does this have to do with Black Patsy? Oh, she said something against Kendall. She posted it, like, online. Uh, OK, here it is. Haven't watched this show in three years, but nothing has changed. This po little child sucks at dancing, but now she's failing just as miserably at singing, too. I literally cannot. Someone get that girl a damn soccer ball or something, cuz, C-U-Z, she hasn't found her talent yet. Meanwhile, is she forgetting my kid beat her kid <laughs> on the dance floor? Really, you're gonna go that low? Who does Black Patsy think she is? What grown-up goes after a kid? That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Here's the bottom line. I don't like what building a wall represents, period. Kathy would not do wrong by any of us. At some point, it's time for you to just really stop brown nosing her and look at this for what it really is. When she start talking about the wall, there is a dual meaning behind that. What's going on with this country is who the hell this country just elected as president. Why would she go and do that? Like, because she's a Trump supporter. What the hell do you mean? Why would she do it? You know why she would do it. And she has every right to feel the way she feels about that man. It does not mean he has not offended gays and lesbians and black people and immigrants and Hispanics all over this country with his beliefs and the things that he has said. We live in America. You have absolutely 100% right to feel the way you do. And if I feel differently, that is my personal feeling. Do you know why you feel like that? You're not a Muslim. You're not gay. You're not black. You're not a Hispanic. None of that applies to you, so of course, of course you are not offended by it. They don't understand what it feels like to have three strikes against you. I've had to fight for rights as a woman. I've had to fight for rights as a gay person. I've had to fight for rights being black. All I want them to do is understand where I'm coming from, even if they can't relate. OK, so, Nakaya, you're a peace dove. You're going to have a beautiful white costume. You're going to be like the nice little bird that goes around and makes peace with everybody, OK? And let me just see a walk on, just a sassy little walk on, and take your pose. Black Patsy is going to be getting married soon. And I'm sure that this is going to be the perfect wedding gift. I want Nakaya to be a beautiful dove, released at the competition to spread joy and love. It's good. This might be your golden opportunity to go against Cameron, is it? You have to let everybody know that you're out there for a win. You're out there for retribution. Abby, Abby. Welcome home, not. Oh, this is stupid. Yeah, this is oh, dumb. why would you do that? That's our red carpet for you. Whatever. I just want to get to the dance competition. I don't have time for this. We have a lot of work to do on these dances. Nationals are right around the corner. 
I don't want to engage in a conversation. I want the moms to follow my lead and stay the hell away from this nut job. Well, we saw your post, and it was pretty freaking disgusting, if you ask me. What was disgusting about the post? Any kind of mother that would talk about a child like it's that in a public forum you, makes you, you a disgusting human she, being. I, I might be disgusting. I'm just honest human being. All right, what do we have? And you don't have popcorn ready? I have popcorn ready. I'll go for it. Do you want a small one? Small popcorn. Why are you okay. here, dumbass? Oh, place to take four of you no. against little old me. No. Not little, sweetheart. Not little. Are you pregnant? No. Oh, shut your country ass up. Your stomach looks like mine. Yeah. Looks just like mine, yeah. fat ass. It's like a bad movie. Your stomach is as big as your lips and yeah. there's no bump on top hey, of your baby, head. Hey, baby, look in the mirror. When it's all said and done, guess what? Look your kids still suck. You are disgusting. Still suck. Take your fat ass out of here. I'll be fat. I'll be fat, but I got a talented kid, bitch. She should not, she should be thrown out of this competition. So. Absolutely. She needs to be expelled from the competition. Wow. And sheer talent needs to take a stand. Hey, did you try to get Nakaya disqualified? Did you? Why would you do something like that? Why would you do something like that? Don't you dare touch me. Sit your ass down. So if you want me to go, I'll Why did you do something like that But you are not disqualifying my kid after how hard she worked. This yeah, you know what? This is awesome how you walk away all the time. Why would you do that? You let Jill call me the B word in front of an audience full of children yeah, and they made me leave. That? But you want my child disqualified for my you know, behavior? Right? Jill needs to go. Why do you always pull this? Because you can't fight. Don't look down at me. Excuse me. Travis, your hair. Excuse me. Travis, Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. just hit me with that foot. You do not throw crap. Do you understand me? Oh, talk about coward. Shut up. I'm Don't tell you. me to yeah. shut up. I'm not letting her get my daughter solo pulled. I'm not doing it. Cameron, you have to go out there and dance like you never danced before. Do you understand that? I want to see what I saw at that audition in Atlanta. That's the kid I want to see on that stage. Got it? All right, now go out there and do that. Let's go. Can we get this show on the road? Abby, please sit down. Come here. I know it takes you a while to walk in, but good God. Judges, next up we have entry number 97. Please welcome Peace Dub to the stage. I saw something special in Cameron the very first day I met her in Atlanta, Georgia. But the girls think Cameron doesn't want to be here. Okay. So the mothers are all up in arms. Plus, she's never even won her age division. What the hell is she still doing on this team? Cameron, show me the girl that I met at that audition and beat Nakaya, or you're gone. Please welcome to the stage, I'm already done. Beautiful. Just to fall. You are my greatest love, my greatest love, my greatest love. Judges up next is entry number 98. It's a team contemporary group. Welcome to the stage, Build the Wall.
kids are great dancers. My girls need to step it up. Guys, because you know who we have to be. The girls have really grown this year into lovely young women. So this routine is going to show that off. Kathy's team's gonna be a tough act to beat. We are not going to nationals as losers. This group better nail it. Judges, the next entry number is 101, Ghost Town. I wish I could do it again. Do that I want to again. say it again. Ambient, second place. Entry number 97, Peace Dog. <laughs> the first place for Teen Solo goes to. I can't breathe right now. If Cameron didn't even place, then. I really think Abby's going to stay packing things and go home. Enter number 100, I'm already done. Cameron put in so much work, blood, sweat, and tears for this solo. Now, everybody can see what I see. She is a winning soloist, and she does add value to this team. The solos are Next, we have team group. We have replacement. We have a lot riding on us this week. We're back on the East Coast, and we haven't been here in like two years. So we can't walk into nationals after losing. We have to win. Third place, enter number 76, all we do. Second place. Enter number 98, build the wall. First place in the team group category. Ghost at number 101, Ghost Town. Going into nationals, I need everybody healthy. I need everybody going to sleep early as soon as you get home. Everybody focused. Okie doke. Here we are. Once again. These are kind of sharp. How's those trophies hanging? They're sharp, Kathy. Oh, well, you know what would happen if you would hit me. Why don't you guys go get. No, I want to watch this. Haha, <laughs> 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 ha, I do have one comment to make. I think that all of you know who Zach is. I intend to utilize him next week at Nationals. Now we're going to say bye-bye.